What's up guys, Sean here from srkcycles.com We have a 2003 Harley Davidson Anniversary Soft Tail Standard Let's take it for a spin You're not going to believe how many miles are on this bike <laughs> Maybe you will, I don't know Listen, it's cold start, look Touching it, look at that, cold start, you see it? Cold start Someone's going to get on my back about this Oh, it's carbureted. That's why it was hard, starting a little hard. I should have pulled the choke out. That goes in the gear really smooth. Guys, this bike has 92,000 miles on it. 92,000 miles. And I just cold started this without the choke. And it's running pretty good. You gotta admit, that's pretty impressive. It is turning out to be a beautiful day. My tire pressure is all whacked out. I should have checked that before I took this bike for a drive. Now I've ridden, I've ridden my share of high mileage Harleys. Always. They were always touring bikes, Road Kings or Ultras or something like that, Electric Glides, Street Glides, never a high mileage soft tail. I'm pretty excited. It's already idling. bike actually feels really really tight it looks great except for the tear in the seat if you guys are interested in this bike check out the walk around video for it we'll, we'll get we'll get down and dirty we'll get all into the details we'll get into the wood we'll get into the weeds we'll show you everything you need to know about this thing it's got the forward controls I'm pretty impressed with how this thing is riding Watch this. No, it's the clutch isn't slipping. I mean, the engine set feels really, really tight. Two possibilities. One, this is the greatest bike ever, which it is. But two, the engine may have been freshened up at some point in time. I don't know. I don't have any paperwork for it. All I know is how it feels. And I've ridden bikes that felt, I've ridden Harleys with high miles, that felt a little loose, they felt a little sloppy. They didn't have the snap that you would expect out of the bike. Remember guys, this is an 88 cubic inch. I mean these things, it's not the 103, they weren't big powerhouses, you know. But this has the snap that it should have, this feel. If, if, that, if that gauge said 20,000 miles, I would be like, yeah, that's, that makes sense. That sounds like it's got, it, it feels like it's got 20,000 miles. I wouldn't question it. I mean, it just, it's got good power. It just feels good everywhere. Very impressed. Now, I'm gonna take it up this, mo this mountain right here. I'm also impressed with how, uh, I mean, it's a warm day. I mean, it's like in the high 60s, but I'm also impressed with how fast it idled. I mean, the bike, I was only riding the bike for like a quarter mile and it's already idling good. It's not st stalling out. I never pulled the choke out. That's impressive. I, 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 every time I fired it up, it fired up so good. I, I, uh, I'm kind of embarrassed to say this. I thought it was fuel injected. This is how a carbureted bike should run. Someone took care of this bike. Someone loved it. And you know what? The best way to love a bike is to ride it. Not keeping it in the garage. And guys that ride their bikes, they maintain their bikes.
and I, I almost guarantee it. I I guarantee it. The guy who traded this bike in, he didn't buy. He didn't buy a touring bike. No, he bought a soft tail. You don't put 93,000 miles on a soft tail and then think, yeah, I need an upgrade. No, you like the soft tail. There's a lot of guys who are out there who they're like, no, I, I want that bike. Like, I don't need a radio. I don't need a fairing. I want the feeling. I want to I wanna ride the bike and have the wind at my chest. That's what, you know, that's what motorcycle riding is all about. Not these, like, micro cars that we all drive. And I, I love them both. I mean, I love, man, you listen to a radio and now it ruins you for riding. You know what I mean? But ultimately, I just, I like that wind hitting my chest. I like the open feeling. On a, on a full touring bike, you don't see this. Because this is all fairing. The fairings come up to here. All this road, all the bike, you just don't see it. And in my mind, it's kind of a shame. There's nothing minimalist about those giant monster bikes. Think about this. You take your bike to the you take your bike to the shop. You're like, oh yeah, my bike's in the shop. I can't ride this weekend. Oh, why is your bike in the shop? Because my radio stopped working. Your radio? What? This is your radio. That that is your radio this is your radio the birds the air I like I love it man I love it this bike runs good this bike runs tight 92,000 miles it doesn't scare me at all what else it I mean there's nothing in there it's, a, it's an air-cooled motor it's not overheating it because it can I mean, it can, but on a hot day. <laughs> I like the soft tail bikes. I think they're good looking. I think they're real good looking. I like the anniversary bike too. I like that color scheme. And they're also real comfortable. Watch this. I like, I like this bike. And it's cheap. A soft tail standard, an 03 anniversary edition, no joke, less than 4,000 bucks. That runs and looks good. Yeah, you gotta get the seat reupholstered or find another used seat. Big deal, 50 bucks. If I find one before you, I'll, I'll throw it on there. Just give you a heads up. But you can't beat it. It's comfortable. I love this view. This is the view. This is the American dream right here. The light reflecting against the, the, the sky. The mileage. Saying that you just rode a lot. Or someone rode a lot. There's a guy that, uh, you know, every time you see like a real supercar, it's always cool when it's like, uh, you know, most of them have like 2,000 miles on them. It's like 10 years old, 2,000 miles, okay. And 10,000 miles is like high mileage for that car. But then there's that one guy that has that, that has that Enzo Ferrari with a quarter million miles on it. And you're like, that guy's the man. Because he had a quarter million miles of fun, of awesome. I see the same thing with this bike. And it still has plenty of life left, guys. Alright, guys, remember, it's not what you're riding, but where you're going. We'll see you guys later.